Hi, right, welcome to the Z Gadget review. So Samsung finally revealed their new uh, phone. It's going to be called the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2. It's going to be available on September 18th and it's going to cost $2,000. Well, not $2,000 because I know you won't buy a phone that's called $2,000. But they will sell it to you for $1,999.99, making it a lot easier to swallow. And that's obviously before tax. Now the C Fold 2, Galaxy C Fold 2, Galaxy Fold 2. Anyway, the Galaxy Fold 2 is going to have new improvements on it, of course, because they got to give you a reason to upgrade. So the front screen is going to be larger. It's going to cover the whole front instead of just being like a weird um, rectangle in the middle, like it was on the uh, first one. It's going to have two selfie cameras. So it's going to be 10 megapixels. Inside is going to have a punch hole camera um, on one corner of the screen. Uh, some of the improvements that they made is where you can uh, prop the phone to have it like this. The selling point that they have for that is to be able to watch videos while you can do something else or be on a call. Um, and since a lot of us are doing conference calling nowadays to do conference calls and you can do other things. Um, the thing that, that was weird to me about that, though, was that if you are on a conference call like this, and I think the, 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 the camera is going to be like somewhere here, and you're using, wouldn't your hands get on the way of the camera? I mean, I think my hands will get on the way of the camera, like I will have my hand up here all the time covering the camera. And, you know, I mean, it's a good idea. They're going to give you reasons to buy the phone. And I guess that's one of the reasons I came up with. Um, the other thing that is, is when you have the phone laying flat like this, the back of the phone is going to have three cameras and they're going to come in the same form that they are on the Galaxy Note 20. The bump is really big. So it looks like when you lay the phone flat on a desk or table, whatever, that it's probably going to wobble a little when you are playing around with it. Another thing that they were talking about is you'll be able to have a preview of a picture when you're trying to take a picture using the selfie cameras where everybody can see and see how good they look. Now, I don't know how it works for you, but every time that you take a picture of with someone, there's always somebody who's like, I don't like the way I look. And then you gotta retake it or, you know, there's always that person. Now, can you imagine if they can look at the image before you take, like, I just want to take the picture and move on with my life. I don't want to spend all afternoon trying to find the right pose. No one cares, you know, so, but that's, again, got to give you reasons to buy the phone. And that's one of the things that they came up with is where everybody wants to look at what they look like before they take a cover, a picture, you know, on the camera and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> whatever they did do some improvements on the screen they're going to be using their ultra thin uh glass which you can legally call a glass but technically it isn't like i said on the other video technically it is still a plastic screen um and i know that it is fragile and plastic because Samsung will still replace your screen for only $149. So if you break your screen, which I'm expecting people to do, obviously, it's going to cost you $149 to have it, the whole screen replaced. So that tells you that they are aware that they're, it's not durable. It's going to still be a fragile phone. They fix the hinges where, like I just said, you can prop the phone like this, which before you couldn't. And they've also added brushes on the inside um, on the top of the hinges so any debris that you might get on that phone will be swiped away every time you open and close the phone on the first foldable phone but a lot of stuff got into that screen because every time you fold the phone you will have a gap literally in between the hinge and the screen and things will get in there and a lot of people's phones broke because of that reason so they seem to have fixed that the specs of the phone are going to be 120 uh, hertz refresh rate on the screen which is nice it's going to have a snapdragon 865 plus 256 gigs of uh, storage 12 gigs of ram it's going to support wireless charging fast charging it's going to have a 4500 milliamp hour battery 
is going to support 5G. And here we go again. 5G. 5G is going to be the new trend. I feel like every single phone that's going to come out from here on out is going to be a 5G phone. And that's okay. They got to give you resources to buy the phone. But as I said before, 5G isn't ready for prime time, as they say. So I think all the new phones next year that will come out will be also 5G. And probably by, I will say, not next year, but the year after that, 5G will probably be a more reliable, viable option to, to use um, for service on the phone. Right now, it isn't. The other great thing that they did, because Samsung, you know, they partnered up with a designer called Thumb Brown. I've never heard of Thumb Brown before until I saw this. Um, so I have no clue what his clothing or, well, I'm assuming it's clothing. I might be wrong. Um, what he does, what he designs. But they have this uh, Thumb Brown edition. It's a very limited edition. It's only 5,000 of them made. And it's only going to cost $3,300. Now, I personally think that this doesn't look good at all. You will probably be better off just buying the regular Galaxy Fold 2 because the colors on the Galaxy Z Fold 2 are a lot better than this. This is gray with three stripes, uh, red, white, and blue. In the back, you get a watch, you get the phone, and you get uh, the earbuds. And I think one more thing, but I can't remember what it is. All these things have the same color branding gray with the three strips. I personally don't think that looks good at all. Um, I, I'm, I'm not, I guess you gotta have money to have bad taste because these things look really ugly. And for $3,300, there's no reason, there's no point. Not only that, but they changed the skin on the actual phone. So when you scroll around, you have the same theme of uh, gray and white, gray and white. Now, I think this is a mistake. This is going to make the phone a lot harder to use because when you have your phone, the icons on your apps, the color of the apps, the design of the app tells you what you're looking for so you can immediately just go to it and use it. But black and white, I mean, gray and white, is going to make it a lot harder to find things. And I think that's a mistake. I, I, just, I just don't get it. I mean, I guess they need to make... Samsung is hurting for money, maybe. I don't know. Also, to spend thirty three hundred dollars, I mean, you can you can buy you can buy a you can buy a computer, you can buy a laptop that can play games. I don't understand why you need to get a phone like this. But anyway, that's my take on the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold Two. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead, subscribe, give us a like, and hit that bell so you can be alerted every time we put new videos. Thank you very much.